good girl. That's good. I speak real. I think it's a little bit premature. What we need is the present real to be improved. If we can do 180 kilos per hour, that's good enough. Because the distance is very short. It's not like China, you see, or Japan even. There it takes three hours despite high, high speed train. But here, Singapore to Kuala Lumpur, well, it's only about half an hour, <laughs> see. So, yeah, it's a good thing to come later on. But, uh, I think uh, at this moment, I would rather straighten the lines, increase the speed, and that should be sufficient for us. Okay, guy. Uh, regarding the HSR Mahathir scrap the project. Okay, in the year two o one five, uh, we got posted on a website regarding the this HSR impact on Malaysia. Okay, conduct in depth study first. Uh, actually, this source is from the Star. Okay, what I going to highlight is in the year two o one five. Uh, the Tualang Lao Assemblyman say Malaysia should learn from mistake by Spain where the HSR was built between Mari and Sevilla after the war export in 1992 okay because to avoid it becoming under utilized by the riot and he aided Spain, okay, this news is in 2015. Eh? So the Spain HSR only attract 1.4 billion passengers annually, despite having a bigger population than in neighborhood country. Okay, and yeah, the HSR in Germany and France attract much higher passengers as they also provide uh, free services as well. And the ticket price also will become an issue for Malaysia. You know, a lot of Malaysia is a low income uh, population. If we charge too high, then nobody going to buy the ticket and they either go to uh, maybe go to Singapore by bus or driving a car, park in a Joho and take another alternative public transport to reach Singapore okay so what they predict now Pakatan Harapan already won the election so yeah they scrap it for the Malaysia good okay okay and we go another news is this also post in 2015 okay Let's see first okay this is the HSR Kuala Lumpur, Seremban, Melaka, Batu Pahat, Moa, Nusa Jaya and Singapore okay. So this okay. okay This is the news Beyond Okay this Okay this is the question uh, posed by the H uh. 201 fire. Okay. It say which may grow beyond estimate 40 billion. Like as uh, Mate mentioned uh, last few days, it costs more than 110 billion. Okay. It's, it's, it's a lot. And after we build it, we still need to take time to gain back the profit so how many years we have to gain back the profit if this project is approved and carry on okay it costs malaysia a lot and okay this is the speed okay if you got see the video early on is say KL to Singapore is not very far, so we can have an alternative public transport. Safe costs, okay? Uh, example for Taiwan, spend 57 billion for 345 kilometer. Okay. 
This is 2007. Now is a year 2018 and going to complete beyond 2020 mean cost more. So and also in 2015, 2015, year 2015, you also say uh, if compared to our GDP, debt to GDP, there are no be much room on government balance sheet for the HSR. Mean Malaysia may be run off of cash based on the balance sheet. So, so this only my video. So what is your if your uh, sorry, so what is your opinion for this HSR? If this project carry on will benefit Malaysian or it's better uh, or you agree Mate scrap the whole project for Malaysia good Malaysian good okay uh, that's all for my video if you like my video please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel and just leave a comment below so we can discuss together thanks for watching goodbye